age-old question, boxers or briefs? day-to-day -day life, I question why things are, and why things happen a certain way, and what made them happen that way. And I am constantly trying to seek out that exact moment when things changed from the way they were, or from nothing, to whatever it is that made them the way they are today. Like, what was that pivotal moment that changed us from the status quo? Jay, I do this all the time with my friends, especially if they have, like, a differing opinion than me, or a different view, or approach to something, and I'm not necessarily interested in the, their argument as to why they're their approach or opinion is correct. I'm more interested in why that is their opinion or approach. I'm interested in what happened in both of our lives that led each of us to have a different view or perspective on whatever it is. And being in such a transitional moment in my life right now, right after college and before I start a family, I have to imagine that these pivotal moments are happening to me all the time. And I have to imagine that a lot of these moments that I'm experiencing right now are like the big important things that are going to craft who I am as a human. But other times they're just pivotal moments that determine what kind of underwear you wear. So my new employee that I was bragging about now being able to have about six videos back is one of my like greatest and oldest friends and we get to spend about 40 hours a week together. Which has pretty much led to us having a conversation about the origin of just about every idiosyncrasy either of us has. And so of course the Boxers of Briefs conversation had to come up. And I had to make a video today so now you get to find out. In sixth grade I was the new kid in school because our family had just moved to a new school district. I was just starting to meet my new crowd of friends, including my current employee. We were 11 at the time, and it was right at the beginning of the sixth grade school year. And one of the major things that I was concerned about was the fact that now I was in middle school, so now in gym class, we had to actually wear, like, gym uniforms instead of just whatever you wore to school that day, which meant the locker room experience. I can guarantee you at this point in my life, the fact the clothes you wear can say something about you had not dawned on me, especially the clothes you normally can't see. Here's what I don't get. Maybe everybody else's parents tip them off as to how things were supposed to be when you're in middle school, because they all knew you wear boxers now. So the first day of gym class, when we actually had to change into our gym uniforms. I pulled a like Zoolander caliber maneuver where I somehow managed to get my gym shorts on underneath my jeans without taking my jeans off yet. I dodged that bullet, but then as soon as I got home, the first thing I said to my mom after like my first day of school was, mom, I need to go buy boxers. Totally what I'm sure she was expecting to hear after my first day of middle school. So my mom took me to the store and here's where my brilliance really shines through. I got one pair. Little me, let's do the logistics. Here. You have gym three days a week and one pair of boxers. How are you going to manage that washing machine schedule? Somehow, I guess I did. But it has left me feeling, even to this day, that the age-old question has one redundant answer. If anything, it really just evokes a new question altogether. Who doesn't wear boxers? And why are you asking? Have the rules changed? But I can look back on this whole thing and see that 11-year-old me made a decision about our life that I'm still going with. And that seems crazy. So for my question of the day, of course, boxers or briefs? And is there anything that you decided when you're a kid that you still kind of do today because of that original decision? Leave it in the towel section down below. And Jay, that is everything I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.